You'll be introduced or reintroduced to AVID today. You'll get an opportunity to see what it looks like in the elementary classroom. I'm sure you'll see that um, this is a program dedicated in its philosophy and actually into the day-to-day -day experiences of kids and teachers to offset the impact of poverty. Today's event was the um, AVID Elementary Showcase at Porter Elementary School. We were able to show off what our staff and students are doing with the AVID process here at Porter. We actually put together an invitation uh, and we sent that, put that out to all of our districts in uh, the Phoenix area. A showcase is an opportunity for us to invite others that are interested in AVID and boy, there was no better place to do that than Porter today, where AVID really is um, system-wide. It's, it's an AVID school. It's not a school that's trying to do AVID. When we look at AVID, we see that kind of in three pieces. It starts with the elementary school. That's everybody. It's the whole school and it's every subject. Then it moves in, it transitions into the junior high where it becomes an elective course and the students start getting those skills for that higher learning. And then that transitions into the next feeder pattern which is the high school where it is also an elective course and they get into the honors or higher level track courses for college. This is our second year for AVID. First year AVID was last year and we were brought on as one of three elementary schools here in Mesa. So this is year two AVID for us. AVID stands for Advancement Via Individual Determination and that means that the students need to be determined, they need to be persistent and um, we'll take them the rest of the way. But it also means that the teachers need to have that same determination for their kids. What AVID Elementary does is it prepares the students so that when they're going on to middle school, they have the organizational skills. They have the skills with writing. They understand inquiry. They know how to collaborate with other students. And they understand um, how reading and writing are connected and they have that mindset that they're going to go to college. Working at a school like this has been amazing for me as, you know, administrative support because I can walk into a classroom and know what I'm looking at. Whereas on other campuses I walk into this third grade teacher's doing it this way, this third grade teacher's doing it another way and it's very difficult to have here we are working together as a team. It's a real team feeling. It's a really good feeling. It's all about leadership. And Paula, she just embodies that. You walk in and you start talking to her and you feel her passion and her excitement. And that just permeates the walls here at the school. The beauty of AVID is it gets kids thinking about college career readiness from kindergarten through sixth grade. It's really building a culture of every kid has the opportunity to go to college if they so desire. We have a vision statement here that says academic excellence is expected, possible, and attainable. And we feel that way about all of our students. And that's where that AVID process comes in and helps us support that to get all of our students academically successful. This school is representative of many, many, many other schools, um, 87 schools in Mesa Public Schools. And we as a district have taken on the charge to fight the battle against poverty. 